I got some stuff to talk to you about. I know you've already heard this at least once, probably from your lovely wife, but <clears throat> it's probably not a secret that you have a real problem with listening to the end of a sentence before you jump in and start your particular brand of BS. And hey, you know, it, 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 it's, it's cool, you know, I love you, you know, I'm not, uh, I'm not saying this destructively, but I have an idea that you can capitalize on the fact that it ain't no secret that Alex Jones cannot listen to the end of a sentence. So, it starts out like this. Well, first of all, let me predicate this on the fact that God bless your heart, you have assembled an awesome crew. I mean, these, these, you, if, if there was anything you should be indicted for, it's for surrounding yourself with the, the caliber of excellence that you have. The new world order is at an extreme disadvantage because of you, my brother. Now, in order to take advantage of this obvious strength that you have, which is in your crew, I propose a three-part series. Now, this is designed to give you a little time off so that you can do the, the uh, uh, intros and stuff like that for these hundred videos that you've got sitting on the, on the shelf just waiting for your attention. You need to do some things like that because that is truly your expertise. Interviewing people is not. But you have some wonderful crew that can, and not only that, you have some, some volunteers, some people that are just astounding. I mean, Mike Adams, Catherine Albright, uh, uh, Holland van den Leeuwenhaas, uh, uh, my goodness, the list goes on and on and on. I, you know, I can't even think of all of them that, that, that you have that would be willing to sit in your chair and do what you do for a week to give you an entire week off. But here's the way it goes. It starts out like this. Alex Jones bound and gagged. And you've got duct tape across your mouth. You've got one hand handcuffed to a ball on your, on your desk. And you've got the other hand with your pencil so that you can doodle. And you have to sit there between your crew that's doing the, the news, and the guests that they're interviewing. So that their guest gets to actually finish a stinking sentence. I mean, you know, the, the important part is where you always interrupt them, Alex. I mean, my goodness, man. I mean, you know better than that. I know. I know you know better than that because you make a joke of it. So make a real joke of it. Sit there for a week. You don't get to say nothing. You get to doodle, and you... <laughs> and I hate to even imagine the kind of faces that you're gonna come up with. But anyway, you know, I just see this in my mind. You could make it a reality, and it would just be hilarious. Okay, so you have guests. The, the, the whole first week, you know, have Mike Adams come in, have Catherine Albright come in, have Holland come in, have um, uh, somebody uh, that, that's really good. I mean, like Aaron Dykes. You know, talk about a mouse that roared. <laughs> you got man, wait until he busts out. I mean, full blown. He's right on the verge of it now. But I mean, you can you can have somebody in your seat for a week, and you can just sit there with a ball and chain and a pencil, just like you was in jail, bound and stinking gagged, and having to listen to all this stuff. Okay, then, Sunday, you got the show. You just jump in there, and all of the notes that you kept during the <laughs> week, you, you can then pontificate on. You know, don't take no calls. Don't ask, you know, don't ask nobody no questions. Just sit there and go over what went on that week. Now, <clears throat> during the week, you can take the, the subject of education. Now, Catherine Albright. Is, is one bright lady. She could bring in like, like uh, uh, Charlotte Isserbeet. Imagine that. Uh, the, uh, the grandmother uh, of the Second Amendment. Uh, she's an educator. You know, you have other educators that you could do 
an entire program on nothing but education. You could have uh, Ben Fuchs come in and run a whole program on nothing but nutrition and health and, 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 and bring in guests and stuff like that. And you got to sit there with a ball and a chain and a pencil with duct tape on your face. <laughs> I don't know if you see the comedy in this, but I certainly do. Then the next day, you've, you've got all of these incredibly intelligent uh, uh, financiers. You know, you, you, could, you could have somebody like Paul Craig Roberts, maybe, you know, ride, ride uh, you know, helm there and bring in Max Kaiser and Gerald Salente and, and all, all of these other economists and, and do a really meaningful program on the economy. You could take another day. And, and have somebody like Sheriff Mack come in and do a real in-depth what can be done. How can we actually take our republic back? I know you want your republic back. I do too. But you could do it. You could have Richard Mack sitting in there in your seat and you bound and <laughs> gagged with a, with a pencil like the one they give you in jail. One of them little bitty teeny ones so that you can't poke nobody with it. And, and, and that would, it would be hilarious, I guarantee you. The next day, you know, one, one of, the, one of the, the real huge, huge elephants is the controlled propaganda media. You could have somebody like Mike Adams sit down and have David Icke and, and uh, 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 golly, uh, come on, his name is right there on the top of my, he's a, a Brit in Canada now. Um, oh, come on, his name's there. But anyway, you, there, there are brilliant people on, on the mind control of the propaganda controlled media. I mean, that, that would be a wonderful program. Now, like I said, Sunday, you get to sit down and go over all the stuff that you've been making notes of all during the week. You see, there's where you get your, 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 your time. There's where you get your, 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 you know, and, and, and let your spirit roar. This is adorable about you, Alex. So many people are so stinking milk toast that, that you know, they, they, they wouldn't say shit if they had a mouthful of it. And yet, that's what needs to be done. The evil ones need to be called out. That's your job. You're doing it very well, my brother, very well. I am absolutely in awe. I really am. So take your Sunday and do that. Then the next week, take completely off and let the hosts of each of these programs of the preceding week come in and take phone calls. See, because once again, you know, as much as I love you, Alex, there's times that you're just rude. I mean, you think you know things that you don't. And, and you cut people off before you allow them to finish their sentence. Now, one of the things that, that made your show was the callers that called in. So give them a week. Give them a week. Screen the calls. Make sure they are on stinking topic. You know, you have people that know how to do that. Rob Duke can do it. My goodness, just let him do it. You know, you've got a wonder of a crew. And man, I, you, could, you could showcase these people like, like you wouldn't believe in just two weeks of this. Have, have all calls the second week. No guests, just somebody riding the herd right there in your position, and you off on the beach taking care of some important work, some work that only you can do. Now, you got people that can do all of this stuff way better than you can, brother. So, and they're volunteering. It ain't going to cost you a plug nickel. Okay, so now, the next week, now, once again, uh, Sunday, you come in and do your thing, baby. You just get in there and you just talk to them like you know you can, and, and, and that, will, will, that will create Sundays that, that every, every broadcasting network in the world is going to want to carry. 
They're going to want to carry your Sundays because they will be so full of, of, of focused, intense rage against the machine. You see? The next week, Alex unleashed. You get it? Okay, you've gone through your, your time in the wilderness. You've, you've, <laughs> you've, you've done your time in jail. You've done your time out there. Now you come back in and, and you have shotguns each day. The shotguns. The people that, that ran the show the first week, that took the calls the second week, can take the calls the third week. But you will be able to comment then. Alex Jones Unleashed. Now, the last week, the last week is Alex Jones Out of Stinking Control. Okay, so you're back to your original motif of being rude and interrupting people and, and you know, being Mr. Excitable Boy. <laughs> but, but now you have a perspective. And, and, and this is in a, 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 monthly, uh, a, a monthly capsule, a time capsule. So, so it, it will create a archive par excellence. Just my opinion, Alex, and you know uh, what opinions are, but that's mine. So to your good health, I'll uh, drink some uh, sea vegetation. Thank you very much. Train hard. Know who your enemies are, foreign and domestic. Be at peace, and may God bless you.